The E30 story in South Africa resonates with almost everyone. I mean, there's been many iterations of the E30, right? The triple three, the 325iS, the E30 two-door shadow line, or even an E30 325i four-door. I mean, there's just so many to choose from. There's even this, the E30 Bauer. This is a personal favorite. In fact, it's my personal car, my dream car for that matter. I've always wanted an E30 Bauer, simply because when you're cruising in one of these, you can leave the top on and take the back off, or you can keep the back on and take the top off. It's a very versatile convertible. But now imagine taking one of these and then converting it to something like this. An official, unofficial E30 Bucky, right? It still has the traits of a Bauer, but at the end of the day, it's a Bucky. I mean, there's the top cover right here and the best place to store it is at the back, like a Bucky. So someone decided that they couldn't find the right version of an E30 and they made a Bucky. Now, we all know the Bucky story in South Africa. It goes a long way. Everybody has a Bucky story as well. I mean, there's things like the NP200, uh, the Corsa Utility, and of course, the OG, the 1400, the Champ. Everybody has a story with a Bucky. So somebody did this, and then another person did another one. How bizarre is that? An E30 Bucky? That's a crazy story, man. Dream, search, drive. Cars.coza. Keep your adventure alive, because when it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars. Strong. I like how strong it pulls. So it takes a lot to fabricate an E30, specifically from changing it to a normal car to a Bucky. I mean, if you look at this, fiberglass all the way. The bin is set up purely for you to be able to load anything you want to load. If you want to go to Builder's Warehouse to load some cement, or maybe go get some plants at your nearby nursery because you feel like uh, you got green fingers for the weekend. You can use this Bucky for what Bucky things are meant to be used for. And that's the crazy part about this build. Now, if you think about how they had to fabricate the boot and the back seats by removing the back seats and then integrating the back of the car into the boot and then removing the boot, there's a lot that goes into building this car. And I got a respect them for that build. And how's this? To make it a little faster, an E28 M5 spoiler and an M3 badge to complete the look. And for a cool touch, you could even close the window if you need to block out all the haters. So apart from the cosmetics of the car, we have to check out what's going on underneath the bonnet. Aha! So we have right here an E36 328i engine. It's mated to a six-speed manual gearbox. Of course, the car is sprayed in ice white and it has 17-inch BBS wheels. It's of course slightly lowered just to get the stance look. And of course, it's finished off with E30 M3 bumpers front and back. But the question still remains, how does Creative Rides in Bryanston have two E30 Buckies on their showroom floor. Let's bring in Joffy here to find out how and why this happened. So Joff, how does Creative Rides in Bryanston have two E30 Buckies at the same time? <laughs> We could tell you, but we have to kill you. Uh, it's, uh, it's remarkable. It's remarkable. After many, many years and sourcing all over the country, we found, we found more than a couple. We found three, actually. This is probably the third or fourth one we've done in the last year. Uh, only in South Africa. <laughs> you won't find them anywhere else. And then tell me about the blue one. I had a chance to have a squiz on the, on the white one. I've, I've checked it out. The blue, out. it's a one of one. South Africans are renowned for their, for their homemade muscle cars. Power is the, is the obvious word here. 
uh, IS engine, triple three body kit. This, you know, these were done by very clever Afrikaans gentlemen that uh, decided they wanted to make something different and put lots of power in it. So we have BMW Bucky. It's the only place in the world you'll find them. And what's the reaction been? Uh, customers who come in here, <laughs> when you put the cars online, what's it been like? Even crazier when you auction them. Um, we sell to Australia, uh, we sell to England, uh, we sell to America. I think we had 11, 12, 13 countries bidding on the auction. Uh, it's the only place in the world you'll find them. The reaction is, is gasping, amazement. Um, no one actually realized that they even existed until uh, they saw them on auction in South Africa. Wow. Wow, this is great. Um, if it's okay with you, uh, could we pull one out and take a drive, maybe? You want to go shopping? Uh, if that's cool with you? Yeah, let's go shopping. Yay! <laughs> First pop. We're going driving with the white one. Is that cool? Sure. What do you want to buy? Let's go find out. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Just a normal day. Getting some flowers done. Okay, I think I should put them here. Ah, cool. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I actually just realized it's not practical to have the plants in the car because I can't actually get them home because I have to leave this at Creative Rides. Anyway, Job, you good to go? Yeah, let's go. Since we're in a bucky, uh, uh, jump in. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's too easy. It's too easy to get laughing. Oh, well, that's why that 328 engine makes sense, eh? No, it's crazy. The power in the bucky, you've never in your life. Only in South Africa you'll find these things. That was so easy. You literally just, you didn't even go to 5,000 revs. No, nope. no need. There's no weight. <laughs> There's no weight in the car. Yeah. I like how strong it pulls. This is, engine's bulletproof. It'll never break. This is like a big mama from the township. She will break, <laughs> she will break you. Do not mess with her. She will break you. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Do not mess with mama. Mm -mm. No, no. It's amazing how the E30 has become a cult. It's bizarre. Following in, Absolute cult. In the townships. It's proper, wild. proper, proper. Yeah. You just can't find these cars. It's impossible. I think E30 single-handedly has done crossover the best. Who knew, hey? 30 years ago, 35 years ago. Exactly. Oh, 1986, oh, almost 40 years now. This is what the guys wanted. Uh, 36 years. Almost. I'm 36 years old. Almost 40 years ago for these cars, yeah. 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 36 years ago, no one would have known. No. And these cars were expensive then. Very expensive. But it made sense. Yeah. It's a quality build. I mean, look at the dashboard on this car. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> I love it. We do our wheel spins at the back of the of the shop for some shoots. Oh. Every single time, all the Ferrari mechanics run out. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. So quickly. Gonna, she's got a governor on it. You know, you've no idea what they've done to these engines. I've used the launch control. You just don't know what that oh means. Oh my goodness. I'm too, you're just too scared. You don't want to touch that. No. <laughs> so the car's got launch control, <laughs> electric fan. Yeah, buddy. It's whatever they put in it. It's just nuts. No. This is crazy. Yeah, crazy engineers. And we just want electric do windows at work. That's cool. Careful. Oh, <laughs> but stop the car. <laughs> wow. But this is the kind of stuff that makes life fun. Yeah, it makes boys yeah. happy. Yes. Yeah, it gives you that. Yes. Oh, 
I'm driving a box beam around Joburg. It's so cool. <laughs> I'm driving a box beam a bucky. <laughs> With nothing at the back. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Wow, this is great. This is amazing. Trust me, you'll never find another one. You'll never drive in another one of these. It's <laughs> mental. So the differences with the two E30 Buckies are noticeable almost immediately. I mean, this one has sport bucket seats, a blue aftermarket uh, steering wheel, and then it's got some gauges here, which obviously you need for the fast and furious type of car. And then the other one has nice E36 OEM seats, and it's got a lot of things that are pure BMW purest kind of things. So think Brakban versus Brinston. Does that make sense? And of course, it's got a fire extinguisher just to close things off in your Brakpan Bucky. <laughs> so we've seen the various iterations of BMW E30s, including two Buckies at Creative Rides in Brinston. But Here's something you don't see every day. And I think it's worth mentioning since we're on the topic of different E30s. This is a pillarless or a frameless E30. Because it's left hooker, you know it's a European import or an American import. Very unique in how it looks, but the fact that it is not anything like a Bauer and it's a full drop top makes it the special E30 that's worth having. So after spending an amazing day driving E30 Buckies around Joburg, I'm still asking myself, why would anyone do something like this? After my experience in this car today, I can tell you one thing, an E30 is a fun car to own and an even better car to drive. And any South African resonates with an E30, whether they're in Soweto or they're in Santon, whether they're in a township or modern suburbia. This is the kind of car that makes a statement whenever and wherever you are. And from what I experienced today, all I know is South Africans always think about making things happen. And here is a perfect example of this. If you can't do it, just do it yourself. If the manufacturer doesn't do it, just do it yourself. It leaves us with the age old saying that everybody knows in Mzansi, Abur Maka Plan. Shop, shop. Yeah. <laughs> Not only is Cars.coza the best place to find your dream car, but it's also the easiest place to sell your current car. Check out the sell car section on our main website. Simply list your car's details and all of our dealers will take bids on your car. You just choose the highest price. Boom, your car's gone. On to your next one. Right, thanks very much for watching the video. Okay, uh, I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm finished now. Keep your adventure alive, because when it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars.